Good afternoon, Fancy Farms. Great to see you today. Thank you so much for having me, and thank you so much for your kindness and coming in today. I want to say a big hello to St. Jerome Parish, and I thank you for their hard work and dedication to putting on this annual event. It's not easy. I know it's not, and I appreciate your hard work. Great barbecue, great fellowship, and great time to meet one another. It was exciting today to see all the signs coming in as I came in at Fancy Farm saying, Stan Humphreys for State Senate. Appreciate you doing that. Folks, I appreciate the kind words that was just spoken. It was hard to hear, but the kind words said by Senator Ken Winters. Such a fine man, a gentleman, a person that will be truly missed. We, Senator, we appreciate those kind words, and thank you for your work. Excuse me for a second. Mr. Hubbard, I do know where Graves County is, Carlisle County, and all the counties in between. I know what's been rumored around, but I've been there. I'm a county judge executive, and I know where they are. There are people like us. I'll tell you what, they've got problems just like we do in Trick County. I know what the problems are. I know how to fix them. I've lived in western Kentucky all my life, and I'm from Trick County and proud of it. It's one of the seven counties in this wonderful district. And I'm joined today with my family, my friends, my wife, and my kids over there. Appreciate you all coming in. Western Kentucky is our home. It's where we farm. It's where we farm and raise our children. If elected as your state senator, my priority will be making this region the best place to live, work, and raise a family. It's not going to be easy to fill the shoes of Senator Winters, but I believe I'm the best qualified candidate in this race. People say the best way to judge a candidate is to look at their record. Well, the difference between me and my opponent is that I have a record you can be proud of, one of service to people rather than service to self. I'm running for state senator because, like many of you, I'm concerned with what I see happening in Washington and Frankfurt and its effect on Kentucky's future. We've got a president who has not been good for Kentucky. His policies have been horrible for agriculture, and he is trying to put a nail in the coffin of the coal industry. Government spending, government debt, and government regulation is out of control. This is hurting our ability to create jobs and get our local economies moving again. To turn the things around, we must create an environment where business feel comfortable to set up shop. This starts with state government getting its finances in order and learning to do more with less. We've also got to put a stop to job killing taxes and debt. As your state senator, I will fight to keep taxes low on our small business owners and working families. I'll also fight to remove oppressive regulations that hinder job creation. I want to use my experience as a farmer, business owner, and local official to work with community leaders to find ways to attract more jobs and protect jobs already in this district. Trick County, like many counties in this district, have faced economic hardships. We've had big employers close their doors, lose hundreds of jobs, and watch many hardworking families struggle just to make ends meet. When I took office, our county government faced difficult budget issues, and I had to make tough choices to get our spending under control while ensuring services were offered efficiently. And now I'm proud to say that Trick County's unemployment rate has dropped from 17 percent, which was third highest in the state at one time, to just over 8 percent, and we offer one of the lowest property tax rates in the region. To create jobs, we've got to make smart investments in our communities. One of these is developing infrastructure that attracts business. I've helped build roads, bridges that were long overdue. I've worked day and night after the collapse of the Edgar's Ferry Bridge to see that its repairs were expedited. Moving forward, I will work with leaders in Frankfurt to ensure that much needed infrastructure funding for communities like yours and mine and assist bridge and road projects that are on a six-year road plan don't just sit there on a table, but get on there, start, and get completed on time. Yeah. I'll work to improve the lives of our seniors and improve education for our children. Making investments in our people is a way to move Kentucky forward. 
I want you to know I will stand up for the values of Western Kentucky. My faith and my family are very important to me. I am 100% pro-life and have been endorsed by the Kentucky Right to Life. I will be a strong advocate for our Second Amendment right to bear arms. We don't need government telling us how to live our lives. It's time to vote for the respected conservative candidate, one who practices service to community and not self. If you want to send a clear message to Barack Obama, elect me as your next state senator. Stand up for Thank you and God bless.